It's the sad but inevitable discovery in a journey of plant parenthood. Some of your indoor plants just aren't safe if you have pets or small children. While beautiful to behold, many popular generals of house plants are toxic, whether mildly or severely. Worse still, others can cause skin irritation with too much handling. The good news is that with a bit of planning, you can find out which poisonous house plants to avoid, assess the risk to your pets and family, and still have a vibrant and gorgeously green indoor plant collection. Here are 10 poisonous house plants that, though we adore them, should be incorporated with caution if they'll be accessible to your children or pets. But before we get started, a word of clarification. Toxic is a relative term, and the severity of a reaction is going to have a lot to do with the degree of exposure, amount consumed, which plant species, and the particulars of your pet. Some poisonous house plants produce acute symptoms like vomiting that pass quickly. Others simply irritate the skin, whereas some can have more severe, life-threatening effects if consumed in excess. This list is by no means meant to be exhaustive, and we recommend doing further research. Number 1. Philodendron and Monstera Starting with one of the heaviest hitters, Philodendron is a large genus of a tropical plant, very popular for use indoors due to its wide variety of growing habits, leaf shapes, and colors. This genus of plants is mildly toxic to humans and toxic to both dogs and cats. Symptoms of exposure include oral irritation, pain and swelling of the mouth, tongue, and lips, excessive drooling, vomiting, and difficulty swallowing. Number 2. Syngonium. Members of this genus related to the philodendron, often go by the common name arrowhead vine due to the shape of the leaves. While only mildly toxic, symptoms of exposure are similar to those listed above for philodendrons. Number 3. ZZ Plant. The Zamia calcus zemifolia, aka ZZ plant, is one of those tough as nails house plants that can survive just about anywhere, even in extremely low light. Unfortunately, it also happens to make the list of poisonous house plants, and all parts of the plant are considered toxic to humans and pets. Number 4. Sansevieria. Another of our favorite plants for use in low-light environments, Sansevieria aka snake plant is another toxic beauty, causing nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea if ingested. Number 5. Bird of Paradise. This tropical stunner with large paddle-shaped leaves and bright, exotic flowers is a no-go for pets and children who are looking for a floral snack. Luckily, it's mostly the flower and fruit that are toxic, and nausea, vomiting, drowsiness caused are mild. Number 6. Asparagus Fern. Though this plant is in the asparagus genus, yes, like the vegetable, it is by no means edible. Some species go under the common name asparagus fern, but unfortunately, the ones commonly used as indoor plants are poisonous, and exposure to the plant can cause skin irritation. Number 7. Schiflua. The Schiffler genus boasts some lovely specimens that make great floral trees for medium light. Make sure to keep the kids and pets away, though, as ingestion can cause major irritation in the mouth, excessive drooling, and vomiting.
Number 8. Euphorbia. Euphorbia. Members of this extremely varied genus, some plants look very similar to cacti. Others are herbaceous and hardy outdoors, contain a white sap that causes major skin irritation, itchy rash, with even a little exposure. Ingestion causes similar irritation inside the body. Number 9. Jade plant. This classic member of the Crassula genus is considered toxic to dogs, cats, and humans alike, causing vomiting, depression, and coordination if ingested. Number 10. Aloe. It may seem strange that aloe praised and widely used for its medicinal, skin healing properties, would be listed here amongst poisonous house plants. While the gel is considered edible, ingestion of other parts of the plant can cause vomiting, lethargy, and diarrhea.